Will I be the astronaut if I visited my parents after my wife gives birth? My wife, Sarah, and I, both early to mid-30s, are expecting twins in early March. First and only kids for both of us. We had to go through IVF due to fertility struggles. Sarah is scheduled for a C-section due to this being a difficult pregnancy and other complications that make her high risk. Luckily, her parents are only a few hours drive away and willing to come down whenever needed. My parents live in another country, and I see them usually once a year to every year and a half. They are aware when Sarah is scheduled to have their C-section. Things have been going on that they don't know how to handle, and they want me there to help out. My parents don't have a lot of money, but they went ahead and booked me a non-refundable plane ticket to come help them and visit for six weeks. The flight date is five days after Sarah's scheduled C-section. The fact that this is even being considered is a huge red flag. What? And the fact that your family went ahead and did this and booked this non-refundable ticket to leave your wife five days after having a C-section? Lots of smart things going on here. I've asked Sarah to look into rescheduling her surgery. Wait, what? Of all the things going on here, you think that's the thing to reschedule? Okay, you're going to get this right up front here. A few weeks earlier, if possible, but she's refused, saying she's gotten herself mentally prepared for that particular date. And unless there's some sort of emergency with the twins, her OB is not going to approve pushing it up a few weeks. I told her that it would give me more time to help her directly after birth before I leave for my parents. Sarah thinks I'm crazy for even considering going for that long or at all while we have two newborns at home and she's recovering from surgery and we're getting adjusted to being new parents. If I had the money to spare, I'd hire someone to stay with Sarah while I'm gone. I gently reminded Sarah that I rarely see my family and if they're asking and paying for me to fly there, it must be something serious that requires my presence. Wait, he doesn't even know what the f problem is. They're just like, hey, we seriously need your help with something. Here's a plane ticket. And he's like, okay, bet. No questions asked. By the way, I'm having a kid. My wife's having a C-section. This is five days after that. But yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's clarification. At parents' request, I did not tell her the nature of the issues they need help with. You don't think she has a fucking right to know, bro? You don't think she has a right to know why you were leaving her five days after uh, giving birth via C-section? Nah. Plus, Sarah's own parents are only two to two and a half hours drive away, and I'm confident they'd drop whatever they're doing to come help should she need it. She's going to need it. Her mom works remotely and could even stay over some nights to help out with the twins. She doesn't need every once in a while help, you dick not. Sarah again called me crazy and ended up telling her parents what I suggested. They're both calling me lecturing and fussing about abandoning Sarah when she needs me most. I ended up venting to my younger brother, who was also going to be flying out to our parents, but for a shorter time. He's not married and child free. And he says Sarah is way out of line and she'll be fine if I go. She's simply reacting this way due to hormones. That's the guy you should be listening to. That's the guy. Hey, hey, you know what? There's probably a reason that he's not married and child free. That's the guy. That's the guy that you should definitely be like, hey, can I get some relationship advice from you, bro? To be honest, I really want to go and my parents would lose several thousand dollars if I refused. And I have to buy myself a ticket later if I don't go then. Will I be the astronaut if I went? Yes, you would be and already are an Ascon one and not just an Ascon one. You're a brozo dipshit douche canoe Ascon one. The fact that you uttered these words and said, I really want to go means that either you're just freaking out and trying to escape about being a brand new dad, but you went through IVF. This, you did this on purpose. You went through IVF. This is not an accidental pregnancy. You did this on purpose. You had plenty of time to prepare for it. You chose to go this route. Now you're talking about leaving five days after your wife gives birth to twins with C-section and you really want to go, that makes you a terrible person. Your wife has a right to know what is so important that it means you drop everything and, and take off. And it better be like the end of the freaking world if you're abandoning her and your brand new babies to go fly halfway around the world and you won't even tell her why. There are so many red flags here. You're going to find yourself divorced and you're not going to have a relationship with your kids. That's where this is heading. It better be that freaking important. Uh... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here to chime in, the magnificent Candy Thunder. 
Hi. Sorry, I could. I just, I just got uh, pissed and I just started talking. My, my eyes while I'm like reading the story were like, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Um, but my favorite part is that he asked, um, he asked her to reschedule her surgery like it's a cosmetic procedure. Like she's just getting a boob job; she can do it whenever. You can't take babies out early. Like you can't, especially twins, because they're most likely already coming early. And this guy is just. Oh my gosh, he makes me so mad. He, like even more mad than the guy that wanted his pregnant or ready to pop wife to to clean up his mess every day. Um, there's also someone had said he would be coming home a single dad. He's not coming home a dad because this this no. is not a dad. Nope. This is not a parent. This is a choice not to be yeah. a dad, which is so confusing because it's IVF. Like that <sighs> that's a process that you start and you know if it's anything like most people it's a it's a several year long process of getting to the right. point where you actually have a child so yeah. what what now i i don't know i just don't understand how you could ever make this right choice and, and, and why the parents would request it i i don't know i don't i don't understand at all like what what's going through this guy's head and then to like be like well my my friend that's not married and has no kids chimed in and said it must be her hormones because you know if a pregnant woman gets upset that's the only logical excuse is that her hormones are raging and she's not in her right mind F you dude her hormones aren't raging you're an asshole that's the problem oh he's cheating he could be cheating uh i don't know he this guy just seems like an idiot like he has no idea how hard taking care of babies are if you thought ivf was hard wait till the baby actually gets there right because it's a million times harder once the baby is there and i've never had twins i can't imagine having two newborns at the same time and he's like no it's fine our parents are two and a half hours away because if anything happens two and a half hours is the perfect emergency amount of time for them to get there and help with whatever the problem is and they can stay over sometimes Ma the mom could stay over sometimes to oh, help yeah. out because it's so easy to have one newborn and then have two while you're trying to hold them both. What a f brozo asshole. Yeah, and, and discussion going on in chat, like why why is it going to be six weeks? Why is he going to be gone that long? What what I takes that amount of time? And he still won't even tell anybody what the issue is. If it's not, <laughs> if you can't even, even say what is more important than the birth of your children and caring for your wife, it's not important. It's not more important. Right. I don't think. I don't think anything is more important than what's about to happen to you. But you've already let your wife know that something else is more important than staying there to be with your new family that you've created. And I don't think that you can ever take that back because you've already considered it. You've already thought about it. You've already you already have the plane ticket and you're planning on going. And I don't think you can like you put a ding in your relationship and I don't think you can I don't think you can get that out. I don't think you can do anything about what the damage that you've already done to your wife. He's like, his parents I have no and choice. witness protection. I have no choice. I have to go. Yeah. They, I, I, they called. I must respond. Something. Something's up. But but was it his younger brother that he said was was yeah, coming? Yeah, there's already and, someone going. Yeah. Why does he need to be there too? Exactly. Or, and, or, and that's the guy you're taking advice from. Or yeah. give, it a, give it a couple months and then go to your parents and make sure her mom can be there. You don't understand how hard that first month is. And like I said, we had one baby i can't imagine having two and how little sleep she's going to get and he's like it's fine she'll be fine they're just cutting open her entire stomach it's fine no big deal by the way can you do it early i've got places to be yeah. and things to do sounds like bro needs a c-section to remove his head from his ass yes it'll take more than six weeks to recover from that